That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Someone had told me that uh, you speak very well. They wanted to give you that compliment. Oh, thank you so, so much. I mean, I, my parents, I'm first generation. My parents had me right before, right after they got here. So um, I think growing up, I really had to kind of make myself as whitewashed as possible. Make myself as whitewashed as possible. Make myself as whitewashed as possible. Speak as well as I could, articulate and enunciate because they couldn't do it. And I think I've done that I've too, done much, that honestly, too much, honestly, because I definitely don't sound like I'm brown. I definitely don't sound like I'm not white. And that's something I really noticed as I got older. And you know, I live on campus, but I will live on campus and be around a lot of white people and come home and realize, wow, they differently. And that's Let something I never really thought about until I was in that situation. Let me touch on what you stated, uh, the, uh, and I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. Yep. You said you said you tried to sound make make yourself sound as whitewashed as possible. Can I ask why? I don't know. I don't think I did it purposefully. I just think that I recognized that they weren't able to, and I recognized how hard. I think I always knew that I would have to force myself to not force myself, but I would have to validate myself more than a lot of other people because I'm in so many marginalization groups. So I think inherently I knew that in order to do that and in order to make myself as as reputable I had to speak well. I had to not use slang. I had to not sound ghetto because if I did, then more stigma and more stereotypes would be placed on me than they already are as someone who is a disabled woman of color. Okay, that's, that's a good, good point. So, uh, so what would you say? And I'm just, you know, and it's not me speaking personal. I'm just giving you, and I know you're able to handle it. What would you say to people who say that? And people do say this. Oh, she's trying to, and and I hate when people say this, but it, it, it's it's true. This, this this is the world. Oh, she's trying to sound like she's white. What what, what do you uh, say? I, I don't. I mean, honestly, maybe right. it's a good thing. You know, if I spoke slang and if I sounded quote unquote black. Would I be as recognized? Would I be as well received? The answer is probably not. No, the answer is definitely not. Because the way you speak and the way you carry yourself has a huge impact. And I've had to recognize that as a black, totally blind person who is a, who is of color and who doesn't sound like she's of color where, you know what? I mean, honestly, if you think I sound too white, fine. But reality is it's definitely gotten me a lot of places. It's gotten me a lot of public speaking gigs. It's gotten me to be treated with more respect than I would have if I came in here and started speaking slang. Okay. So, I, I don't want to, okay, I, I just, you know, I understand where, you, where you're coming from in most cases, but, like, pe that, that people can also look at the fact that, because, you know, you, like, with dealing with intersectionality, it's, it's overlapping yeah. of, 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 you know, overlapping races, gender, things of that nature. But <clears throat> I'm glad that you cleared it up in terms of explaining to people in terms of how you feel about that situation. Has there ever been a situation where people have gotten you confused? I know blind people do. Uh, blind people definitely. Tell us about that. Tell me, tell me about that. Um, I was on a phone call with this writing group and it was a big group of blind people, most of whom I'd never really met or spoken to. And uh, the friend of mine that was running the group was like, yeah, Jessica's POC. And they're like, you are? And then I'm like, I know, I know. I sound like that obnoxious girl that orders the really complicated Starbucks drink, but I am, I really am, I am. Um, so things like that happen. I always wonder like, when I talk to someone on the phone, if they just think like, I'm white. <laughs> um, the name Jessica doesn't help with that for me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. So, I, 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 before we conclude, because uh, I just got another comment from Jenny. How you doing, Sandy? You, you're brilliant. You speak very brilliant, brilliantly. Now, as opposed to, and I'm not the most, I'm me personally, I'm just putting myself in the shoes. I don't have the greatest diction. I don't speak with whatever, but what, what you said was you, you want to become whitewashed. I, 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 I can't let you go with this one in terms of, is that, 
you hear how you hear how, you hear how I speak, okay, versus the way that you speak. Now, what 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 is the what will be the the situation? Would you consider me speaking it uh, in a, just in a different way, or would you, you would you consider me speaking uh, less favorable to you, or what oh, have you? No, 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 no. Oh God, I, no. I, I want to clear that up because of my audience. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I never, ever, 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 ever want people to think that I think less of them. My parents have accents, really thick accents. I never, ever, ever want people to think that I think less of them for the way they speak because the way you speak is fine. Like, no, don't change yourself. Mm. I didn't practice speaking like this. I don't even know how it happened. I think I just kind of, I don't know, <laughs> fell into it. Um, and I, I think that, you know, no, speak however you okay. that's, can. That's, that's speak a good with, point, Jess. Just look, as much respect. Look, I want, I want to ask else. you, go ahead. I want, okay, you, you were through? You finished with, with yeah, I'm all, I'm okay. I want to because because uh, I, I I mean I, I I was teased when I went to Louisiana State for, uh, University and I hung around with a lot of people who were Caucasians, a lot of people from other other uh, parts of the country as well as uh, other parts of the world. Came back home and uh, I was ridiculed for the way that I spoke. So I understand wholeheartedly of what you uh, what you had gone through and what you were are going through, and I'm glad that you clarified that. And I and I wanted to I didn't want to keep harping on it, but I just had no to. no no no. I'm glad you did because I don't want people to watch me and think, oh my god, she's gonna think I'm terrible if I don't speak like she does. No 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 no, not at all. 